So now in this video, we're going to modify the uh, last circuit. We had a Schmidt trigger, and we really looked at it used as a Schmidt trigger. In this case, we're going to use it where it makes a pretty effective delayed uh, time off switch, basically. So I hit the button, the output's high for a little while, and then it turns off. So the amount of time is determined by primarily the capacitor there and the resistor there. So I find this is really about the largest value I want to use for capacitance and the lowest value for the resistor. We'll look at that later. So now we come to the point in the video where I like to take at least one oscilloscope measurement and that's all we're gonna take. So we got the cable there, the uh, black uh, alligator clip, clip to that blue jumper that goes to the negative rail, our zero volt reference point. In relationship to that we have the red alligator clip that is clipped to a jumper and goes to the positive side of the capacitor. Goes to that side of the switch, other side of the switch goes directly to the positive rail. So, when I press the button, you're going to see a sudden jump to 5 volts right there. The power supply voltage that we're using, 5 volts. When I let go, the uh, capacitor discharges through the resistor, the transistor base to emitter, and the 22 ohm resistor. But uh, the interesting thing is, you see a really rapid discharge there. And it takes a little while near the bottom there before it finally gets low enough to turn the LED off. So now, I want to briefly mention that I upped the current on my meter from what I normally have it. Normally I have it 25 milliamps, so I don't blow an LED if I accidentally short it. But in this case, we're charging a capacitor instantly and so it takes a brief period of uh, more than 25 milliamps of current so I don't want this to limit the current I want it to be able to provide all the current that we need so I upped it to 0.15 right there we start off with the load when it comes to building the uh, actual circuit and uh, so the uh, long lead, the anode here, we're going to connect it to a resistor with the jumper. We're just kind of getting it out of the way right here. Short lead, the cathode's going to the negative rail right there. That's the direction we need it to conduct. I'm going to use this uh, green jumper, put it to the resistor. It's a 1000 ohm resistor there, 1 kilo ohm. There we go. And uh, put it to the LED and you'll notice the LED is normally on right there so the transistor doesn't even exist right now and when the LED is on and the transistor is part of the circuit that means the transistor is uh, off and so we have a path to turn the LED on basically it's a not gate so we're gonna grab that transistor Yeah, pin layout here. Let's see if I can. It's probably the best spot right there. Emitter to the left, base to the middle, collector to the right. So if I turn it this way, the pins align with how the uh, schematic is. So I'm going to put the uh, collector to uh, the resistor there and the jumper right there. Base, we go to this jumper. We'll come to that in a little bit. Emitter, we got down here. So we need a path to ground. We're going to use a 22 ohm resistor right there. That helps build up a voltage right there. That's one reason why we had a little bit of a problem getting the transistor to turn off later. And that might inspire uh, another video looking at that. So in any case, we go to ground there. So the transistor is off right now. What we're going to do is come to the uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor from the positive rail. So right now the LED is normally on. We're going to grab 1 kilo ohm and put it to the positive rail and then that jumper that goes to the base. Now the LED went off. That's because now we don't have this transistor yet. So that transistor coming from the positive supply is naturally on right there 
it's it's an on switch so we can't get current to the LED so now we'll look at uh, the second transistor so they're both 2N3904s NPN type bipolar junction transistors let's get that uh, jumper out of the way same pin on layout the uh, emitter left base middle collector to the right so we'll turn it that way flat side facing right right there now we will put uh, let's come back a little bit right there the resistor to the switch and then to the base so I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor we can use a larger value that will keep the capacitor on longer if we use a lower value capacitor though that'll be a shorter period of time for a given resistor so we can pick them how we want and uh, so I'll jump the gap there and I'm giving it a stray signal so it's kind of turn the transistor on and off a little bit so we already got the switch to the positive rail we're gonna grab the 1000 microfarad capacitor put that to the resistor and then it's polarized this side has to go to the negative rail or it should in this circuit that's the most negative part of the circuit and then we've got that up there let's test her out and it looks like about five seconds or so five six seconds we have where the LED is on with this setup and so now I thought we would quickly look at some different value components so this is a 47 microfarad instead of a thousand microfarad that's a hundred thousand ohm resistor instead of 220 ohms of resistance so we saw it was somewhere probably around six seconds with uh, that capacitor and uh, resistor combination so with this one much larger value resistor much smaller value capacitor it looks like it's a little bit longer but uh, now it finally turned off so maybe that was like eight nine seconds or something like that also I have a lot of these 470 microfarad capacitors before I realized I had these 1000 microfarad capacitors in a different kit I was mostly using these so to try to get the uh, same amount of time we're gonna put the uh, capacitor there so it's about half of the capacitance so I'm gonna use twice the resistance there about twice not exactly but that's 470 ohms right there and uh, so a little more than twice the uh, resistance I went to the emitter right there there you go now we're at the base and uh, there we go looks like it's a little bit shorter maybe but about the same amount of time as the uh, 1000 microfarad and the 220 ohms so you can just adjust the uh, values as you want to set the time